by our community, uh, the likes of which there have never been in Richmond before. In this same way, we're all coming together now after this horrible tragedy. Um, I've been around the, the pride parades all the way back when they were, uh, in fact, marches, uh, 1970 New York City. And, and I went to um, all of the ones in the 70s, many of the ones in the 80s and 90s, gradually went less and less as it got more and more commercial and I got less and less interested in besides I live in the East Bay now. But, um, but I am going this year. I have to go this year. We have to come out and show that we're not afraid and show that we're going to keep on struggling. Um, we have to come together more rather than less because of this. I know you know that. That's why you're here. Uh, a number of people talked about fear, risk, and, um, you know, we're all human. We're all vulnerable every minute of every day. And there's no safety anyway, anywhere. You can spend your life hiding, trying to be safe, and somebody will still get you, or you'll die of a heart attack, or what have you. So, or you can live while you're alive and, and do what, whatever you feel is the best thing to do, and, and live your life as you want to live it. I choose the latter. Um, I want to mention uh, a couple more things. Today is Loving Day. About, uh, I can't do the math right now, but in, in 1967, in 1967, uh, after a five-year court struggle regarding a white man and a black and Indian woman who loved each other and, and married in, in D.C., 